Welcome to this video tutor tutorial in IB Chemistry. This tutorial is part of the Organic Chemistry series and discusses alkanes. Alkanes are described by the general formula CnH2n plus 2. They are hydrocarbons in which all the atoms are joined by single covalent bonds. The carbon-carbon bonds and carbon-hydrogen bonds are high in enthalpy, i.e. they are strong. This means they're not very reactive. These bonds are also not very polar, which again lowers their reactivity. Having said that, alkanes do undergo some reactions. The combustion of alkanes, which is reaction with oxygen, is a highly common reaction which releases a lot of heat. This is due to the formation of strong bonds between carbon and oxygen to make carbon dioxide and hydrogen and oxygen to make water. This particular process, known as complete combustion, takes place in the presence of excess oxygen. For instance, when one mole of propane reacts with five moles of oxygen, three moles of carbon dioxide and four moles of water are formed. The enthalpy change for this reaction is minus 2220 kilojoules per mole, which is a lot of heat. In the presence of limited oxygen, alkanes can undergo partial combustion to carbon monoxide and water. For the case of propane, one mole of propane reacts with three and a half moles of oxygen to release three moles of carbon monoxide and four moles of water. And in the presence of extremely limited oxygen, one mole of propane reacts with two moles of oxygen to release three moles of carbon and four moles of water. Carbon monoxide is poisonous, and as a result, a combination of low oxygen supply and poor ventilation of gas heaters in a house could lead to carbon monoxide poisoning and possibly even death. Another reaction that alkanes can undergo is halogenation. This takes place in the presence of UV light, which is necessary to initiate the reaction. Halogens such as chlorine and bromine undergo homolytic fission in the presence of UV light. This is where the covalent bond between the atoms is broken in such a way that each atom shares one electron each from the broken bond. The resulting atoms with one free electron are called free radicals and are highly reactive. In relation to the reaction with alkanes, this homolytic fission step is called initiation. After this initiation step, these radicals can then react with the alkanes, such as when a chlorine radical reacts with methane to form HCl and a methyl radical. In this case, one radical reacts with one non-radical to form another radical and another non-radical. This is an example of propagation. Other examples of propagation involve further reaction of the methyl radical with another molecule of chlorine to form chloromethane and a chlorine radical, further reaction of chloromethane with a chlorine radical to form a chloromethyl radical and HCl, and reaction of the chloromethyl radical and chlorine to form dichloromethane and a chlorine radical. The final type of reaction that can occur is when two radicals combine to form a molecule, such as a methyl radical reacting with a chlorine radical. This is known as termination. Other examples of termination include combination of two methyl radicals to form ethane, and combination of two chlorine radicals to form a chlorine molecule. With all these possible reactions going on, a large number of products can be formed. For instance, when reacting bromine with ethane, you will form bromoethane and hydrogen bromide, but you'll also form some 1,1-dibromoethane, 1,2-dibromoethane, butane, tribromoethane, and many other products. To summarize, alkanes have the general formula CnH2n plus 2. Alkanes can undergo complete combustion in excess oxygen 
or partial combustion in limited oxygen. And alkanes can react with halogens in the presence of UV light to form a number of products. Thanks for watching this video tutor tutorial. Until next time.